Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how you can save any file to your desktop no matter what the path. So this is going to be a dynamic save to the desktop. Now what I've got is some example data here. So what we'll do is we'll do a process like we'll copy the current region, we'll create a new workbook and then we'll save that workbook down to the desktop and it doesn't matter which computer it's used on it will save to the desktop regardless of the path to that desktop because as you know everyone's desktop can be on a completely different path depending on the name of the computer the name of their master drive etc etc all right so let's go about creating that procedure so we'll press alt f11 to get into the back end of excel and we'll just insert a module. So we'll choose insert and we'll insert a module. All right, good stuff. So I might just give this a name. I'll say MDL save desktop. And won't make a typo desktop. Okay. Good stuff. All right, so we need to quick give it a name. So we'll say we'll sub save to desk. That'll do. Save to desk. All right, so what we've got to do first is we've got to make a path. Okay, so we will dim path as a string. As a string. A lot of typos there. S T R I N G. Good stuff. Now what we want to do is. Let's have a look at our raw data. So basically what we want to do is just grab all of this information and put it into a new workbook, yeah? And then we'll save that specific workbook to our desktop, right? So we'll go back into Excel. So we'll just say, I'll just grab the data. We'll just say A1 and then we'll grab the current region. Dot copy. All right, so we've copied the current region and we can test the veracity of that. Um, let me just pull you down a little bit. We can just go run that in slow-mo, F8, 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 and you can see the dancing ants running around. So we've got it copied, all good. All right, so what we wanna do now is we wanna open a new instance of Excel. So effectively, we just say workbooks.add. And we write that in lowercase. Now, the copy stack won't be extinguished because we added a new workbook. So the new workbook then becomes active. So we'll just say, we'll put that in the sheet that gets um, opened. So we'll just say a one dot pay special and then Excel paste values. Oh, I have written that so many times. Now, the good thing about writing in lowercase is as soon as I pressed enter, this guy didn't go to uppercase here and here. So it means I've made a typo. And now it has. So we write in lowercase so we can spot more easily the mistakes that we make when we do our typos. And I do them incessantly. Yeah. All right. So we've pasted the value. So now what we want to do, I'll just move these in, is we want to assign the path, okay? So this is effectively where the rubber hits the road, yeah? So what, we, what we'll say is we'll say that the path is equal to, now I want to create an object, yeah? And the object is going to be the wsscript.shell. So we'll say we want to create object, and then open a bracket. Now in quotation marks, we want to say that it is the WS script oh, script. I'm good at making typos, so I'll just watch what I'm typing. And then it is shell. Yeah. Now it doesn't matter if the first part and the second part is capitalized there and there it'll still work regardless of the capitalization now it's dot in what we want is the special folders and then we want to draw reference to our desktop so it is desktop 
D-E-S-K, T-O-P. And then that's all in quotation marks, yeah? And then what I want to do is after that, I want to add the backslash. So it's and, ampersand, and then in quotation marks, I want the backslash. All right, good stuff. So I'll press enter and now we just want to save the workbook to the path plus we want to give it a name. Now you could put the name in a specific cell. Uh, I'm just going to hard code it in the back end for demonstration purposes. So what we want to do is the where the data got pasted, that's the active workbook. So we'll just say active workbook dot save as. Yeah, save as, and it is the path, ampersand, and then what the name of your file is going to be. So we'll say Excel file, yeah? And then I'll say dot .xlsx, it's got no macros in it, and that is how the file path will be saved. So now all we have to do is run a test on our procedure. So I'll just lower this down, and then... We'll just get this ready to run a test. So let's minimize this guy so we can see what's happening. All right, good stuff. And I might make this a bit smaller. And this one too. All right, good stuff. So we should be able to see what's happening in the open workbook. So we'll kick the procedure off with an F8 command. So we'll press F8. Now we're off, racing in the cup. F8. We're going to copy the current region, so that's everything inside there. New workbook gets added, so we'll press F8. New workbook should, should be blank. We should drop the data into A1. There we go. And now this is where, as I said, the rubber hits the road. So basically we want to sort of assign the desktop to be generic, yeah? So doesn't matter where it is, yeah? So the path is now equal to... Look at that. So the path equal to C, users, my name, and then desktop. And that will be the same if you run it on your machine. So, because every path is different. So that's the magic about this particular procedure. And then it should save it as Excel file dot XLSS. Not very original, but uh, should be enough to get the job done. So we'll press F8. And then you should see at the top of this procedure that the workbook has been saved. And I've got I'll access into my desktop. You can see down the bottom Excel file is saved. Now, if we wanted to take this, where well, this would be the active workbook, let's say it was part of a looping construct where you were gonna go and do that again to another workbook. Well, you wouldn't want this workbook to stay open. So you'd say active workbook, and then workbook.close. And then it's true or false for whether you want it to be saved. Now, as it was saved in the line above, you don't need to save it again, so you just type false. And then that line will actually cut this particular sheet off. Let's run it a little differently again. So we'll just say Excel file one, and then I'll close this workbook without saving it and we'll run it again, all right? So let's, press Alt F11, and then I'll put a break point. So I'll press F9 down here. We know that it works to here. So I'll just press F5 to that point, and you'll see that it's come down to here. So we've got a new workbook, and I'm gonna save it as Excel file one. So I'll press F8, it's closed. We've gone back into the workbook that we started in. We opened the desktop, there's the Excel file one, saved very nicely. We get out of our procedure. We pat ourselves on the back and we move on. So that's effectively how you can save to a generic desktop location. Doesn't matter whose file it is. Works every single time. And I hope that's helped. All right, everyone. Hope you have a fantastic day. Like um, my page and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. But yeah, all the very best. Take care. Bye-bye.